drive the Nikola fuel cell electric truck with trailer from AMTA's Edmonton location to Calgary and return to the starting point on one tank of hydrogen. Good morning. This, my name is Terry Johnson. I'm from the Alberta Motor Transport Association. It is January 24th. Um, and we are here because we're going to be taking the Nikola fuel cell electric vehicle and trying to get it all the way to Calgary and back on one tank of fuel. Um, a lot of important people are here with me. We have the Nikola team. <laughs> Yay, Nikola. We have Dave, who is our bison driver. Dave. <laughs> and Jamie, who is from AMTA, helping me out. And this is going to be a Canadian first, uh, taking a fuel cell vehicle and trying to operate it on the corridor between Everton to Calgary. And we are excited to see what today's events will be bringing. Well, we're here today with the Nikola Trey hydrogen fuel cell vehicle, working with uh, the AMTA and Bison. So the, the hydrogen fuel cell vehicle has two hydrogen fuel cells that create the energy that goes into the battery packs, which then feeds the high voltage power to the systems to include the drive motor. So we've got a six by two. Uh, the driven axle is right here. The e-motors are directly on this axle. So it's a direct drive system. Uh, we have two e-motors, one in front of this axle in between the airbags and the other is behind the axle, again, in between uh, the suspension airbags. The vehicle itself has uh, five, 545 continuous horsepower, over 700 uh, peak, has a range of up to 500 miles on a single fill. It has 70 kilograms of usable hydrogen on board, consisting and stored in five different storage tanks. We have one saddle tank on the driver's side, another saddle tank on the passenger side, and then a backpack with three additional hydrogen storage tanks. The vehicle is also equipped with blindside monitoring with radars on either side, has automatic emergency braking, lane departure warning to uh, assist the driver throughout their journey. to Calgary and back. This is the first time you were the first, first ever. person first. to drive. Tell us about your experience You know what, today. it was very fun. You know, it was all the head turns, the comfort, it was very quiet. No lack of power, no lack of anything, really. So yeah. Dave, I have a question. I know you have um, an injury with your back. Yeah. 
um, and you're concerned with the seats. How are the vibrations on the seats in this vehicle? I didn't feel a thing. My so, back is great. <laughs> so there might yeah. be safety. Yeah, it was very comfortable to drive. It's lots of leg room, lots of back room. We're talking torque, we're talking power, we're talking comfortable. Well, I didn't have any problem passing people when I did. It was, it was, it was good and, you know, doing the regenerative braking, I just, it was almost natural, just lift off. And yeah, so tell me a bit about the regenerative braking. Well, as soon as you back off, it starts charging. You know, take ease going up hills, get your speed up, go up another hill, back off the throttle and just charges. I had my batteries up to 77%. Yeah, well, do you have any questions? No, no questions. I mean, we, we're doing kilometers per kilogram along the way. And uh, I'll do the final calculations, but he was averaging between 11 and 12 kil kilometers per, per kilogram, which is exactly what we needed uh, to, to make the trip. So he did a, did a great job driving it. Yeah. yeah, we were following behind in a different vehicle and it was great to watch. It was awesome seeing it come down the road and just the people turning to look at it. It was really exciting. <laughs> just just a very emotional time right now for me, for sure. It's been like three years in the making, you know, to push the Canadian market with Nicola. And now we've made it, you know, we've yep. made it. We've proven out our truck, <laughs> yep. proven out, this is the market for it. Yep. So now Canada, here we come. We'd like to um, issue a special thank you to Prairies Can, Prairies Canada, for being such a huge supporter of this project and this initiative. It wouldn't have been possible without you. So thank you so much. So what do you think of the truck, Dave? Oh, I love it. I'm looking forward to having a fueling station where I can get full fuel and run this around the city. And, and this should be fun. Especially to watch their face when I lift the cab up on it for them and show them everything under there. Show them and explain how the fuel cell works with it. Yeah, it's definitely a piece of art. <laughs> for more information on this or our other zero emissions vehicle initiatives, please contact Jamie King.